Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales. My name is Saiken and today we are continuing the playthrough of uh, Expert Difficulty Blind Playthrough where we have left off in Ludern. It is time to uh, go further in our storyline and apparently the Nurprum clan has a problem. Two little numbers, you can see population 50, uh, lots and lots of crocodile swines. No, I'm not kidding you. These are half crocs and half uh, boars are essentially lurking around the city. So, let's see what they have to say. It's possible that I'm not actually a merchant and that perhaps I'm not unconnected to the croc swine attack. All right, I admit it. It's all my fault. I made a mistake. It was an accident. I thought this experiment posed no risk, that the reagents were safe. But my measurements were off. I am an Alazarian scholar of note. I hold a university professorship. But these barbarians don't care. If they find out I'm responsible for their troubles, They'll have me hang. Let me slip away quietly before they start asking questions. Distract them when the reinforcements arrive. <clears throat> I beg you, I have a family. Well, of course, we yet again need to clean up. Perfect. The oil and wood are all set. Once they see the warning beacon, the Yebel and Garusa clans will rush to our aid. There'll be enough of us to slay the croc swine. Okay. Everything rests on your weapons. Flames drive the croc swine mad. As soon as the fire is blazing, they'll attack. Steal yourselves. It's going to be a long fight. You can ignite the warning beacon whenever you're... Okay, well, it's going to be a long fight, in which case we need to indeed ready ourselves. Um... How about maximum valor increase? Yes. Then crit increase? Yes. Pay the mercenaries? Yes. Let's rest in here. Very good. XP? Yes. Um, troops earn more loot after battle. Oh, that one is nice. Sale price of crafted items increased by 50%. That's not bad. And more loot after battle. You know what? Let's test that out. Good, anything else I can prepare? We have enough torches, so that should not be a problem. And the rest actually really looks fine. Let's go, light the beacon. Come on baby, light my fire. Twelve crocs, level nine. Well, this is indeed going to be a hard fight. And reinforcement. Wow. Reinforcement rounds three. Oh my gosh. What have I gotten myself into? Okay, we're going to fight and try to get them down here. Miss Grell stands there. Ender stands there. Jim here. I can tell you it's a tight formation. We got two, four, six, two, four, six. That's 12. Okay. Well, there's only one way to deal with that. And that's with uh, with a lot of valor. Move up. Hit this guy. Yeah, 
And I think we're fine by now uh, for now. Just gotta make sure that we're not taking too much damage. Uh, where is Jim? Uh, JP, rather. Hmm. I'm wondering. Can we cluster them somehow in a way that we can triple hit afterwards? All right, move over. That's a great hit. And that's a kill. Unfortunately, mosquito swarms are going to make that even more difficult. <clears throat> They're not very fast, which is good. That's going to be our an advantage for us. Good starting here. We're hitting both of them. Could have gone a tiny bit further away. That way the repost wouldn't have hit me. Curing the bleed. Yeah, and teaching that croc swine a lesson. <clears throat> okay, keeping the ve valor up which is important. We could score a triple kill if we play it right. All right, that's, that's the right approach. Here we go. Can't fully reach that croc swine, but we've killed all of the other ones, which is good. to three triplet hit wouldn't be bad but we would uh, walk over the trap which is not worth it instead very good both are being pushed back And we're still at full Valor points, which is great. Engaging. Okay, so far we're actually doing all right. Finish the croc swine.
Yeah, and I don't want to use uh, the reset yet. Let's just sit here, wait until all of them come closer. And we should be fine. Roby begins to hit some of them, and let's wait for the reinforcements. <clears throat> Gotta be careful with their repos, um, because uh, that really hurts. Very small number of reinforcements, actually. Dilly hits the swine and it's bleeding plus it can't reach anyone which means we're golden shall we continue to go there potentially not let's just stick together There's another reinforcement over there, but nothing coming from down here. The croc swine <laughs> begins to attack again. Interesting. Move up. Moves to here. Kills that croc swine, cures the bleeding, and we're good. We don't need to engage yet. I just want to make sure we're not losing too much health. Moves up, goes all the way over here, engage, hit, not yet dead, but close to, and there we go, done. <clears throat> the Crocs Wines, I was actually expecting that we would see more of them I'm positively surprised that we are not I'll take that extra attack because I don't want the other croc swine to just run into us and start getting its stupid repost up Yeah, 
Now that's fine, we can always heal Roby. Roby is, due to his high hit point pool, a super convenient target for healing. Move up. Sprint. This guy is already bleeding, which means this is going to be a crit. Don't want to attack into the repost. And this should not trigger repost because it's from behind. Okay, that's good. Yeah, and nothing better than healing the bear and getting a couple of daggers on top of it. Allied reinforcements are incoming. Well, thank you. Not sure if we need that help against two pigs. But you know, appreciate um, appreciate the uh, gesture. I think. Okay, cool, easy. Much easier than I would have anticipated. We got a lot of croc swines and croc swine scales. And a few carcasses, cool. You've done it. Mercenaries, you saved us all. The others are already headed to the market. Let's... So a couple of uh, things. Crocswine, by the way, uh, man, uh, many of you might not know that, make for a wonderful meal that has the added bonus of not consuming as much food going forward, which is really a great bonus if you just want to kind of stay, stay outside, continue to eat. I need another pony. Uh, there's over encumbrance completely ridiculous you remember our agreement right go on distract our heroes have returned i pray to the tools as often as i can to show my thanks all right so So much weight I think the carcasses yeah gotta get rid of them don't be shy mercenaries help yourselves this feast was prepared for you all this is in your honor mm -hmm. without your help we all would have ended up as croc swine food you are part of the clan now part of the family so to speak so please accept this gift as a token of our appreciation. We let him go. I wouldn't want him to be hanged for a mere misunderstanding. Lots of food and we're again over encumbered. I didn't doubt it for a second. The clans always come to each other's aid. So much food. Well, Like I said, I need another pony. You received a strange letter. Someone is waiting for you in the secluded cottage, which is over there. Before we go to the secluded cottage, though, let me uh, find a solution for that, uh, for that uh, problem of being overloaded. And we'll continue in the secluded cottage.
All right, very well. So I fixed the pony problem and we hired a third pony. Can't believe that we're actually running around with three mules, but with so much loot to carry, that seems to be the only way of doing it. So we got it to our secluded cottage here. And besides making a little bit of firewood, which you can never have too many resources. I already learned that in this game. There's always something missing and there are exuberant amounts of resources needed for whatever uh, whatever so you want to upgrade. I don't know if it's or if you've grown fond of Harag's savages, which have been a thorn in our side all along. Unfortunately for me, you are the only mercenaries capable of seeing this mission through. To prevent any unfortunate slip-ups on your part, you'll only be briefed moments before the mission starts. Do I make myself clear? First sure. off, you will escort me to a specific location. Here's a map of the place, drawn by our sources. Lead the way. Um, okay. Winfried's map. Uh, that is, I think, here. If I'm not mistaken, it looks like it. It's definitely not in the cursed village. It's definitely not there. I, it's also not in that curse village. It's either of these two, so I think it's Garusa. Uh, it's the Garusa clan. What's the problem with Tome Raiders here, by the way? Look for the smuggler's hideout. Okay, that's potentially going to be up here. And I could also use a pointer towards the overall tome. Because every region had a tome, and I would assume there is one here as well. Okay, so we don't want to go into the cursed village again. The one thing that I definitely learned is don't mess around uh, with the brainless ones. They seem to multiply by the hundreds and thousands. But it is fitting. It's kind of an old area where a lot of uh, soldiers died. So, sure, that makes sense. That there are just many zombies around. Good. Happiness. We're also at Max Valor, which means I would create some honey. <clears throat> Mainly because it's very difficult to get honey. And we need that for a few recipes. Luckily, I put uh, pythons into the walls everywhere. It's very easy to go from A to B. Don't need to take the long route. What a massacre. As surprising as it sounds, there was a survivor. You may have heard of him. As for what happened here, let's say you'll find out shortly. I hope for your sake that you will be more competent than your predecessors. Let's follow the trail. We can talk again once we find the ghost. Okay. Yeah, ghost pack fights will be hard. Specifically against high level uh, ghost packs because they uh, will be try to beat us with terror and not with hit point damage <clears throat> mm, 
Nah, don't want to fight the bears. Alright, somewhere in here must be the ghost pack. Yep, there we go. Uh, whilst we're doing that, let's give us a little bit more experience. This ghost pack is ideal for what you're trying to accomplish, mercenaries. I need three of these monsters alive. Are you kidding me? Don't give me that look. These abominations can be captured just like any other animal. If you have the right tools, that is. Look at these chains. They were made in a secret alchemical alloy created by the most eminent of our scholars. To this day, it is the only metal capable of holding these monsters. Take these and capture the ghost pack. Ooh. A couple of ghostly boars wouldn't be bad as well, but I like Roby so we can't just get rid of uh, him. The problem with this game is it has too many great things that you can capture. It's just one of those uh, challenges where you want to have it all. Oh yeah, easy. Good. Everybody's orderly. Sprint up. All the way to here. And start hitting the boar. We need to capture three, right? Right. Hundred fifty. Well, that's going to cut it close. I think we're just going to hit those two. Maybe there will be reinforcements. Let's see. For now. Let's engage each of them, try to deal enough damage. That way they are easier to capture. Okay, I think we won't be able to capture it him no we won't good but we're now engaging in melee combat which is okay good a couple of them are definitely ready to be captured Moves to here. Capture. Ah, I can't capture him. You can't chain capture. Mm 
Yes. Good. Well, that's not... That's not bad. We could capture this guy over there. <sighs> of course not when we're critting. Captured one. Move up. Capture. And thinning out the pack. But that's a that's a very solid uh, engagement. I like it. Uh, the ghost boar. Okay, softening it up. Seems legit. Moving to here. Big hit. Capture. Okay, that was... Why did we miss? Uh, okay, that was strange. Nice hit, nice hit. I like it. Good moves to here. Big fat triple hit. And before that guy can retaliate, we are hitting and engaging in combat. I like it. Short interlude. It is time to end this episode as uh, the following events will take a little bit longer and I really don't want that one hour uh, long episode. So I'll cut it in half uh, right here and you will see how I reach to this screen in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching and uh, make sure that you put the like button on that little shopping block and slices neatly through with your wood shopping axe thank you and have a good one bye bye